decide wind energy, photovoltaics is the most important renewable energy source in Germany. Just over 10 years ago, Germany was one of the largest PV producers in the world and an absolute pioneer in the application of this technology. Today, most solar modules come from China, making Germany dependent on China to achieve their energy transition goals. There is almost no PV module production in Germany anymore, although the modules are urgently needed for the energy transition. If you want to know how this could happen, stay tuned. Today, I will tell you the story of the rise and fall of the German PV industry. The history of photovoltaics begins in 1839, when the Frenchman Alexandre Edmond Becquerel discovered the so-called photoelectric effect. For the physical explanation of this effect, no less a person than Albert Einstein was awarded with the Nobel Prize in 1921. The first silicon-based solar cells used in practice were developed in the USA in the middle of the 20th century. These were still very expensive and were mainly used in space travel to supply satellites with energy. In the following decades there was a steady but slow development, which meant that solar cells were only used in a few specialized areas. The boom of the PV industry in Germany was politically wanted and promoted, starting in 1990 with the 1000 Roofs program, in which the first private PV systems were subsidized and their use on private buildings was accompanied and analyzed by research. It continued 1999 with the 100,000 Roofs program as a part of the Renewable Energy Source Act, EEG for short in German which came into force in 2000 and fixed the FED-IN tariff for PV systems at up to 99 pfennigs or about 50 cents per kilowatt hour paid over 20 years. The real PV boom began with the 2004 amendment to the EEG in which the rates for small systems up to 30 kilowatt were increased again to 57.4 cent per kilowatt with a digression of 5% annually. In the following years until 2010 the entire industry boomed, the installed PV capacity multiplied and numerous companies such as Qcells or Solar World quickly became large companies and produced PV systems in Germany. As a result of subsidies more than one third of global PV capacity was installed in Germany by the end of 2011. The PV industry grew to employ around 120,000 people during these years. But the subsidies generated cost that had to be borne by the taxpayers via an ever-increasing EEG levy. In 2011, the government therefore decided to make an extraordinarily large cut in subsidies for photovoltaics. The changes took effect on January 1, 2012. These adjustments came as a shock to the entire German PV industry. Investments in the PV construction collapsed. Many companies went out of business as a result and in 2014 only 56,000 people were employed in the PV industry in Germany. To put the decrease in the number of jobs somewhat in perspective, the German coal industry still employed 18,000 people in 2021, jobs that are often cited as the main argument against an earlier coal phase out. Module production shifted almost completely out of Germany in the following years. At the same time, photovoltaic technology and expansion in China was increasingly promoted, the production prices of the modules fell significantly and Chinese manufacturers increasingly conquered the market. As of 2020, 8 out of 10 of the world's largest solar panel manufacturers were from China. However, in recent years, the trend in Germany is reversing somewhat. The first PV modules are being produced in Germany again. In particular, new technologies, for example with very high efficiency, panels that also function in partial shading or use of different materials are now in the focus in Germany. Currently, there seems to be a social and political will to build up photovoltaic production in Germany and to reduce the dependence on other countries in this area. My personal opinion is that the photovoltaic subsidy in Germany is a success story that has driven the global PV market and accelerated its development. Module prices would probably be much higher today without the subsidy and the worldwide PV expansion would probably be even less advanced. Until the years between 2010 and 2012 it was also a success story for the German PV industry. Then there was unfortunately a stalling of this development, at least partially also wanted by politics, which has led to the loss of many jobs and is costing us dearly today. 
For example, there are currently long waiting times for the purchase of PV modules, which is slowing down the energy transition in Germany and has led to significant price increases, especially since the start of the war in Ukraine. As a result, German is heavily dependent on China for the energy transition. Since PV continues to be a technology of the future, the development in recent years has been positive and Germany should become more independent again in this area in the future and have the ambition to be or become the technology leader in as many areas of the energy transmission as possible again. Similar to the history of the German PV industry is the history of the wind power industry. You can find a video about it in the near future here. If you like the video, leave a thumbs up now and write your opinion about the German PV policy in the comments.